Hey guys, Sam here and welcome to my first vlog. For those of you who don't know me, I thought I'd go in a little bit about who I am. So as I said, I'm Sam and this will be like a health and fitness vlog. I want it to be about food, I want it to be about exercise, but not just those things, but also about balance, about mindset, about lifestyle, because those things are so important to me. Um, I am a personal trainer, I have been for two years, and I've also, for the last seven months, been working at an F45 studio in Bergdahl. I love training people, I love the way that it changes people, not necessarily the way that changes their bodies, where that can be really exciting for some people, but the way that it changes people's mindsets, the way that it can actually change people's lives, and also my input of knowledge that I know about you know, the importance of balance, the importance of how you should be exercising in a way that you enjoy, um, making sure that you know, you're doing it to love yourself, not because you hate yourself, and just things like that. Um, so how I'm going to start this vlog is I'm actually doing the F45 8 week challenge and I thought I would vlog my experience with that and you know the ups and the downs and you know the differences so for example I'll be doing mine a little bit differently like there is a set meal plan I would be following the meal plan to a T um, but I will be following it mostly and how I can keep it you know within the guidelines keep it nice and healthy to reach my goals but also you know not forcing myself to eat things that I don't like but still you know making sure I'm healthy and things like that. All right, well, I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm gonna be off to get my scans, so you'll see that. Um, yeah, let's see how it all goes. Thank you. All right, guys. Here's my scans. So to keep myself accountable, I'll let you know what I got. Um, like I said, not that I always, I don't normally focus on numbers and things like that, but you know I am doing the challenge. So let's just see how I. Go. Okay, so my weight is currently sitting at 63.4 kilos. My skeletal muscle mass is 27.5 kilos and then my body fat percentage is 23% so I probably shouldn't have done this but I compared it to a scan I did a year ago which is probably when I was most happy with my body composition with things like that and I've lost weight but not in a great way so what I've actually done I've lost 2.2 kilos of muscle and I have put on 2% body fat. Not really too concerned about the 2% body fat. I'm more concerned about the muscle because my training has changed a lot. I've done a lot more cardio and I have had a few injuries where I haven't been able to do as much strength and things like that. But I am determined to really get that muscle back because, you know, I like to feel strong. I like to be able to keep my metabolism high because of it. And I kind of miss doing a lot of weight. So it's going to be fun to get back into it. So my goal for this challenge is not necessarily to drop any body fat. I'm not too concerned with that. If I can do it, then awesome. You know, I'm going to be throwing a few cardios in there, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but it's more mainly to see if I can build any of this muscle back. So yeah, that's my goal. Um, so got some work to do. Hey, so I've just rocked up at my local fruit and veg shop. So I got my scans done this morning, as you guys have seen, and yeah, I wasn't very happy with them. So I'm really determined to keep pushing forward and getting the best results as I can throughout this challenge. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go get my fruit and veg now. So I've gone to my local fruit and veg shop, and then I think I'm going to duck into Woolies, and I think I just want to get a few different herbs and spices to do my meals up to make them a little bit more interesting. I do plan to get organic food for this challenge, but for today being at scans, I didn't have a chance to go to the market. So, goal is every Sunday to go to the markets. So we'll see how that goes. Um, if not, there are a few other organic places around. But today, I'm at the fruit and veg shop, my local.
Because this would be really cool if it does. Hashtag amateur vlogger. No, but seriously, I'm just all in this. But anyways, yeah. So that was a, su a successful food shop. So basically, I did all my groceries for the week. I already have a lot of my condiments and things that I need. Um, so all I really just did just then was my fruit and veg shop so funny though obviously first time vlogger and when I've got my video camera out I can hear people I like heard people making comments like oh is she filming or she's got a camera or like people just stare at you I guess that's where you've got to not really give a shit what anybody else thinks hey <laughs> all right guys so this is a smoothie that I'm gonna have on most days of my first week of the challenge so I've got some mango it's a really good for vitamin C so it's a good immune booster I've got bananas as well, so it's got the dietary fiber and potassium, but mainly those two fruits will taste amazing. I've got protein, so that's going to really help uh, repair my muscles from when I'm training and just making sure I have enough to really build more muscle as I go. And then I've got l glutamine so that's really good for my immune system, muscle recovery, and preventing muscle breakdown as well. I've got cheese seeds to help with some fiber, omega 3, and that also adds a little bit of protein in there as well. Spirulina because it's got iron and B vitamins, which I both lack, so I really need that. Ultra Cleanse, it's got chlorophyll, so it's a really good body cleanser, and it also helps with energy. But that added aside to make it a little bit sweeter as well, but that also has a lot of antioxidants and minerals. And then I've decided to put ice in there and then water. I really use that for hydration. I put the ice in there so it can melt a little bit overnight because I prefer it a little bit of a thick consistency rather than it getting too runny throughout the night, it's just the way that I first prefer it and I like to have it um, with water instead of milk because I find uh, with milk I'm just adding more calories where I can have elsewhere throughout the day and I just think, you know, the more water the better and it's creamy enough with the banana so it's quite good. Um, so I call this smoothie my lawn clipping smoothie and everyone at the gym I work at calls it well could be because it's so green and as, like I said as a melt I smelt overnight it gets darker in the morning so it looks quite not appealing but it's a delicious smoothie. I find that protein really helps me with my muscle recovery and it just takes me. Hey guys so it's the end of the week now and yeah I'm feeling really good. I didn't follow all the meals per plan but that was always my intention. I changed up a few of the meals and I orders or I added and took away some ingredients to make it work with how I know that my body can function and uh, reacts to really well. Um, my training was really good this week. I threw in a couple of my 45 classes in there and also a few weight sessions to really build that muscle that I really really want <laughs> at the end of this challenge. Um, thank you for watching my very first vlog. Make sure that you like and subscribe because it's really going to help my channel. And if there's anything that you want me to vlog about, whether it's nutrition, fitness, workouts, anything, just put it in the comment section below. Alright, thank you for watching my first vlog. Bye!